from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. The Inspired Towards Science, Engineering and Technology, or ICEP project, sponsored by petrochemicals company Sasol and facilitated by the University of South Africa, uses mobile laboratories and robotic kits to teach science to school children. Skulkberger has the story. The nine mobile science laboratories, which are minibuses that transport physical and chemical science and robotics kits, allow children in remote and underprivileged schools to learn about science through practice, test and play. The project, which is in its 10th year, aims to equip educators and inspire learners to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering and mathematics, or STEM, fields. The mobile laboratories use LEGO Education EV3 Mindstorm robots in the kits. The children build a basic robot, such as a wheeled robot, and then program it. Once the robot can move around, the children change and reprogram it and learn about logic and mechatronics in the process. The project uses technology to reach out to rural communities and improve delivery of education in schools. Robotics makes a significant impression and impact on the children exposed to it, and the mobile laboratories aim to make this possible in many communities. The volunteer facilitators, who are typically undergraduate science students at UNISA, communicate the scientific principles to the children in their mother languages, which helps to mitigate language barriers and inspires the children who work with the students to pursue careers in STEM fields, says ICET project leader Dr. Patricia Ghos. Ghos gives us insight into the vision and impact of the mobile laboratories and how children react to building and working with robots. Sassel has donated a mobile um, unit to the ICET project at UNISA and um, you see behind us here the unit has a fully equipped physics lab and a fully equipped chemistry lab as well as a robotics lab. The ICET project which is inspired science engineering and technology has we started in 2009 and we um, inspire science engineering and technology using the fun activities of robotics and we have students that we're training we have learners that we're training and we have educators that we're training and it's all to inspire a community of science engineering and technology. A robotics workshop is always a very loud experience. So we have in this country a very few um, learners who have built robots and then we have these gazillions of learners who've never had the opportunity of building robots. So our vision is then to allow each learner to at least build and program one robot. And so you inspire science, engineering and technology. Other news making headlines. Ascendus launches new strategic focus and Avenge reports strong market interest in most of its non-core assets. Pharmaceutical company Ascendus Health announced a new strategic focus prioritizing pharmaceutical and consumer health care. It means, as you already might have seen in our announcements, that our pharma, and we have three pharma businesses, and our consumer health care are the most attractive to this company. Animal health and medical are in the second layer. It doesn't mean they're not important. They are very important and a part of Ascendis Health family. A very strong in South Africa, can ex expand into the region, great returns, and also maybe in the future, could be a part of our M&A strategy. Avenge has turned its attention to the disposal of several non-core businesses, including its well-known construction business, Grinica LTA. I think where we came from was what we called the perfect storm last year which is a situation we found ourselves in where we had uh, some major uh, contract awards again against us, QCLNG. We had to impair a lot of the um, uncertified revenue on, on contracts that we had on our books. So we did those write-offs um, and then we had to renegotiate our bank debt. So I think what we did from there was we, we obviously um, embarked on a strategic review um, and we identified what were the core businesses, what were the non-core businesses. We identified the core businesses to be McConnell, Dowell and Mulmans, um, and we classified Grinica LTA, the manufacturing businesses, and steel as non-core. Um, so the plan is that we'll dispose of the non-core businesses. We plan to do that uh, by the end of June 2019. That's Cream Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.